All right, so here we got a, another video of word problem involving rectangles. Uh, these are the three problems that I'll be working. Uh, each problem will have its own video. Uh, in this video, we'll be working the second problem. So check, them, check all three of them out. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so here it says the length of a rectangular pool is six meters less than twice the width. If the pool's perimeter is 126 meters, what are its dimensions? All right, so first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and draw, draw the pool. So we'll draw a rectangle. All right, now it says the length is six meters less than twice the width. All right, so what we do is we look at this and we see, well, we ask ourselves, what is it not telling us? What is it giving us the least information about? Well, you can see that it tells us about the length. It tells us what the length is. The length is six meters less than twice the width. So it's not telling us anything about the width. <clears throat> so the whatever they give us the least information about, that's what we want x to equal. So I'm going to I'm going to let x be the width. <clears throat> okay? And then the length Okay? The length is 6 meters less than twice the width. So 6 meters less than twice the width. So if we take twice the width, so that's 2 times x, and 6 meters less, so that means we would have to subtract the 6. Okay, so now we have the length labeled and the width labeled. So this right here would also be x, and this here would be 2x minus 6. Alright, so the perimeter of a rectangle whoop, is equal to twice the length plus twice the width. So two times the length plus two times the width. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the length and plug it in for L and we'll take the width which is X and we'll plug that in for W. And, and look, it, it's really easy to, if you forget the formula, let's call this the length, this is the length, width, width. So if we add all these up, because that's what the perimeter is, the perimeter would be the length, this length, plus the width, plus the length, plus the width. And then if we combine like terms, L plus L is 2L, and W plus W is 2W. Okay, and so that's where that's how we get that formula there for the perimeter of a rectangle. All right, so now, well, let's work our problem. So if we plug this in for L and this in for W, we get the perimeter is 2 times 2x minus 6 plus 2 times the width, which is x. All right. And what does it tell us about the perimeter? It tells us the perimeter is 126 meters. So we can replace the P, which is the perimeter, with 126. And now all we have is this equation to solve. Let me erase this and get it out of the way. So we just solve this equation for X. So I've got 126. And then if I distribute, I get 4X minus 12 plus 2x, combine like terms, so 126 equals 4x plus 2x is 6x minus 12, and then I'm going to add 12 to both sides, and so I'm going to get uh, 138 equals 6x, and then I'll divide both sides by 6, and so that is going to give me x is equal to, let's see, 138 divided by 6 
is 23. So this x is the width. Okay, so we've got x equals 23, and that is, and you can see we're in meters. And so this is our width. Now to find the length, all we do is we take the 23 here and we plug it in here for x. And so I get 2x minus 6 is equal to 2 times 23 minus 6. Okay, so that's going to be what? Uh, 46 minus 6. Yeah, so that's going to be what? 40 meters. And this is our length. And so here's your answer. The 23 meters is your width and the 40 meters is the length. So I hope this video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.